Today we will address the one thing most of us are usually looking for at one point or many in life, the need to expand storage. And I've been doing my research to set up a network storage system for a long time. But I, unlike most other people, would not want to keep my data on cloud. I prefer it at my workspace, my home or my office. A lot of options, tons of reviews, and it finally landed up on a NAS from Synology. A quick disclaimer, Synology and Seagate sent the network storage system and all the Iron Wolf Pro hard drives in exchange for a demonstration review video. I do not have any input and preview discussions about the review and video with them. Hello and welcome to Forest Tech. As always, we bring you tech reviews, tips and tutorials to help you live life smarter. So I will be having a look at the following few things. Feel free to get to a time code that best suits you. Synology systems are widely used for a couple of main reasons. At first, this price may seem a little more than the similar competitors, but their costs come from a polished software. The whole setup, it's easy for anyone who doesn't come with advanced knowledge or technical knowledge of networking. And when I say that there is so much more in terms of polished and ready to use software, and that's because you have to your disposal things like Synology Office, Synology Chat, Synology Drive, Active Backup. Synology has got all of these features without depending on a third party cloud service. So you have all of these services present right onto your NAS system. So in my scenario, it fits perfectly well as a centralized storage unit, which all of my teammates can have access to remotely. They can edit videos over the internet with all sources files at my office and in this NAS. Even if I have no internet, I can still access all my stuff because it's on my local network. The storage drives, the Iron Wolf Pro hard drives are made to be working with small to medium sized businesses. These have 300 terabyte of workload rating with 256 MB of cache and five years of warranty. They come with an agile array technology. This helps in data recovery. It has RV rotation vibration sensors, which are meant to keep all the disks internals aligned and not let the performance degrade over time. So also have an error recovery control and advanced power management and power saving capabilities for busy and demanding scenarios. And all of that are best understandable with Seagate's IHM, which is the Iron Wolf Health Management System. I'm gonna speak about it in detail in one of the sections later on. So this right here is the DS1019 Plus. It's a five bay scalable network attached storage. And with five drives, each of 10 terabyte, I can get up to 40 terabyte of storage space. The rest of the 10 terabyte would go as a redundant drive or fault safety drive. Here's the flagship device. It's a DS1019 Plus. With the Plus, you get three years warranty and three years of advanced replacement service. This thing has mobile management apps like DS Photo, Cloud, and Video. So you can access everything you want from file to streams remotely from your mobile phones. Even the surveillance cameras or IP cameras, if you've attached them to your network station, you are able to access them. You also get a couple of IP camera licenses for free to use in case you want to set up your surveillance via this NAS system. Data backup right here. This is exactly why you need a network attached storage in the first place. Now you must know that all premium backup solutions have a cost and some sort of a license fee. And I'm not talking about one GB or five GB free storage that you can get from most of the services out there on cloud. I'm talking about terabytes of backup. So they have active backup. This is a free software license. So you buy this device and you get your active backup license for free. So you cut the cost of license straight away. You can bring all of your backups from Office, your Google Suite and Windows. And this active data backup only backups the changes you've made in your data. That at first saves storage space and secondly gives you a choice to keep or not keep excessive copies of your important data. AES encryption to keep this thing secured and this works with Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS. And you also have the sharing and yes, they are all accessible from any device anywhere. And then this thing can also be a server as well. Let it be a complete media, data or email server, etc. In the box, besides the NAS station and installation guide, you have external power supply unit and a cable and a couple ethernet cables as well. Screws for 2.5 inch drives and keys to lock and unlock your drive base. For the storage, I got five 10 terabyte of hard drives. Now the chassis itself is compact, it's strong and well constructed. It's a well-rounded build altogether. It doesn't vibrate, shake when all the five drives are installed and running. And with rubber pads at the bottom, it doesn't feel flimsy or slippery at all. So thumbs up to the build. So you've got the LED status indicators for all hard drives at the front. You have USB 3.0 port 
And also it's a copy port as well. Now at the bottom, you got two slots for SSD caching. If you want to add NVMe later on, you can even improve read and write speeds. On the rear, you got a couple of fans. You can adjust these speeds. It's not noisy at all. And two LAN ports, two GB connectivity, a reset button, one e setup port extension, and the power port, of course. Installation is simple. Use the keys to unlock the drive bay in case it's locked. Flip open the drive bay, slide the tray out. Then comes the five Iron Wolf Pro 10 terabyte hard drives for NAS. Unclip the attachment brackets. Place your HD firmly. slide it back in until you hear it latch. Don't forget to lock the base with the supplied key once you're done installing hard drives. So getting this thing up and running is simple. Synology has a setup video that gets you up and running in just a few minutes, but I'll quickly go through this as well. You gotta connect your Synology power supply on the back and the ethernet wire on the back of this thing as well, which is coming directly from your router or into your broadband. And that's really about it. The rest, your laptop or your machine is going to be connected with the same router or broadband. And that could be done wirelessly or that could be done with an ethernet wire as well. So here I have my laptop wirelessly connected to my office network on your browser. I'm gonna open up find.synology.com. This will open up a web assistant for Synology and you will have your test station DS1019 plus appear on your screen or you can use Synology Assistant link in the description as well to download the DSM from Synology Center. If you notice, it says DSM not installed. Now just click on Setup Install DSM. The DSM is the Disk Station Manager. This will erase your hard drives and install the DSM. After that, the NAS will restart. After that, create a NAS management account for your storage system. Here you can enter your server name, your username, password, and confirm your password. All right, so after that's done, what about accessing it from different machines, different users, different places? This is where we need to make a Synology account. This account will allow you to access all Synology services, administer them, make users, make user groups, install packages from the packet center, even set up your MediaPlex server or data servers as well, or even your backups as well. So here, fill in your Quick Connect ID signup details and sign in with your new Synology account. You'll also get a Quick Connect URL for your Synology ID. After this comes setting up your hard drives for the first time. Open Storage Manager, click on Volume, click Create, Quick Next. Now SHR1 means you have one fault drive tolerance and SHR2 means you have two fault drive tolerance. I'll be selecting SHR1 which means I have five hard drives in here. Capacity will size down to 40 TB and 10 TB will be reserved for fault tolerance. I have all my hard drives selected, click OK. All data will be erased, of course, and BTRFS is recommended, I'll go with it. Next and finish. Now this is everything you had to do to set up your NAS. The foremost major thing I wanted to do was to be able to remotely save and access files. And to be able to do that, you have to go to File Station. Here you'll create a share folder, name it, see if other settings you would like to change, manage user permissions, etc. Now this shared folder along with your main server name will be the address you would need to access the NAS remotely. So from my laptop, I will right click on my computer and map this network drive. I'm going to put in this shared folder address. Now this simply will map my Synology drive on my computer. And now from any network, I can access this NAS and have my data transfer or accessed onto this folder or edit remotely, which is in most cases me and my colleagues. Now for the active backup. Open up your packet center and install Active Backup Suite. Or open it if you have it pre-installed. Here you will have an overview of how many PCs, physical servers, file servers, or virtual machines are installed. You can set up a time and day of how frequent you want the updates to be, activities, and of course, there are logs of activities right on this screen. So on the left panel, I'll choose File Server. I'm gonna add my server name. It's username and password, which we did set up in the beginning. I'm going to hit next and you will see server is added successfully. That means now you can set up active backup for your server and shared folders on it. Now you will select the mode of backup, which is self-explanatory. You've got multi-version, which is slightly slower, more space taking as well. And then obviously you'll have versions maintained on periodic basis. It's like mirroring, which is an exact copy of your data or NAS with your machines. And incremental is the fastest that it 
only copies new and modified files onto your server, overwriting the previous ones. So for me, data mirroring on all machines seems like the best option. Now you can either select the entire folder to be backed up or particular folders for your device. Then add a name to your backup task. Select a folder on your NAS where you want the backup to be saved. Schedule your backup routine if you want to update it daily, weekends or weekdays or even select up the time that you fancy. Once you're finished, this will then ask if you want to back up right now or you want to wait for it working at the time you've scheduled previously. So I'm going to hit yes and now it's backing it up. Have a look at this. Now the next thing that entrusts my office situation is my PC backup, which is referred to as bare metal backup and restore. Now you can completely backup an entire PC. It includes the complete windows, the applications, the data, everything will be backed up and it can be later installed via an ISO image of that backup, which can be installed in your external hard drive or USB hard drive, depending upon the size of your backup. So let's head over to PC and add device. Now you will install a small software. Most of us usually have Windows 64 bit these days. Once that is downloaded, I'm gonna double click and install that software. Now in this software, all you gotta do is just add a server detail to connect to it. Now this server detail is the exact server detail which you've created before. Once that is done, you will have notifications telling you that your PC backup software is connected to your Synology NAS. Here on, drop open your Windows desktop, create a task, give it a name, select backup storage location. I will go with active backup for business. Select the entire device, folders or files, whichever you need to do so. And then I'm gonna select next. And then you can select backup manually or schedule one. I will schedule it for the weekend. And then I'm gonna click next. Now you can keep all versions, which means a fresh complete backup every time or choose to keep the latest and few. Everything is customizable. Now I'm gonna hit next and apply, and yes, I want to back up right now. And there you have the backup taking place. So if you now head over to overview, you can monitor everything which just happened. Okay, now that we have it set up, even if I close down my Synology DSM window or browser, the service right here is still running in the background in your Windows task icons. Now let me come over to Iron Wolf Health Management. It's called the IHM. Now Seagate has developed this solution particularly with industry's most demanded NAS systems, one of which is of course Synology. And this solution is integrated within the NAS software itself. In our case, the disk station manager on the Synology NAS. Now this is where both the hard drives and NAS get to know who is who and what is what. The bridge to talk and highlight essential information needed to maintain a good performance over time as far as data loading, data serving, accessing is concerned. IHM is present on most Iron Wolf models and sports most of 11 to 17 series of Synology disk station. Now this has prevention, so keeps an eye on temperature, shock, signal integrity, etc. of your hard drives and maintain health parameters for all the data that is being stored in the drive. And in case of failure, it gives you a rescue with its data recovery service, which by the way is two years included with Iron Wolf Pro hard drives. They also have a glossary of error codes that tell you in case something tends to go wrong with any one of your hard drives. You can even monitor your workloads and data traffic 24 seven, set up a schedule, monitor periodic disk health activities and so on. Now compared to SMART technology or smart for disk management, which has 20 drive parameters this thing has 200 drive parameters to monitor your hard drive's health and instead of just telling you that it's a pass or fail this tells you possible preventions ahead of a failed drive besides that it keeps the memory of parametric data to analyze trends that impacts the drive usage so you can not only manage your nas but also keep an eye on your drive's health and if in case there's something that is alarming you can act in time and probably save up your time and space and data for days to come. So to wrap up, the whole software is as simple as it can get. The user interface is familiar, things are straightforward, tons of helper videos out there, and they're quite simple as well to uh, help you set this thing up and even accomplish some of the most common and most targeting tasks, like active backups is one of those. And then of course, backing up your entire system, entire Windows machine is one of the key tasks that you would wanna do when you have business or client data on your machine. Plus the health management system by Seagate with five years of its pro warranty with an ability to recover your data in case of loss is an absolute peace of mind. So that's everything I have till now about the DS1019 Plus and the Seagate Iron Wolf Pro hard drives. All the links, coupons, and promotions, if there will be any at the time of publishing this video, are gonna be in the description. If you like what you see, hit like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys soon with another one. Till again, Forest Tech, signing out.